This is the latest transmission from Echo Base Radio Blastland. Tune in now to Chapter 5 of Season 3 of Blastland. This chapter is titled The Blast Train. Keep an eye out for new Blastland podcasts on Good Pods. Ava's breath came in sharp bursts as the last of the Twisted Vault 66 residents collapsed at her feet. Her chest heaved with exhaustion, the adrenaline still coursing through her veins. Blastlander, bloodied but unbroken, padded over to her side, his bright eyes reflecting the faint light in the chamber. The vault had been a nightmare corrupted by years of isolation and experimentation. But now, it was silent, its secrets exposed. Eva knelt beside one of the survivors, a ragged man clutching a deep wound on his arm. His wide eyes flickered between fear and desperation. Who did this to you? Ava asked, voice steady, but filled with urgency. The man's cracked lips moved slowly, as if the words were painful to recall. It's not just here, he rasped, his gaze shifting nervously. Vault 66 wasn't the only one. They came from the blast drain. Ava's brow furrowed. Blast drain? What are you talking about? The survivor coughed his voice barely audible above the background hum of dying machinery. The blast drain, a moving vault. It circles Blastland. Some say it's a sanctuary. Others say it's a death sentence. His words hung in the air, and Ava exchanged a glance with Blastlander. The train's name stirred something within her, an old legend, a ghost story passed around in the hidden corners of the wasteland. It was said to be a mobile fortress, a lifeline for some, and a nightmare for others. But if this survivor was telling the truth, something darker was happening aboard. They came for us, the man continued, his voice growing weaker. They took people, forced us to work on their experiments. They said we had no choice. They were coming back. Eva's grip tightened on her pistol. The survivors of Vault 66 had been tortured, enslaved, turned into monsters. But more disturbing was the implication that this blast train was behind it all, an elusive train that had been terrorizing Blastland under the guise of safety. We have to stop them, Ava said, standing tall despite her weariness. She knew there was no turning back now. The blast train had to be confronted. Ava's thoughts raced as she and Blastlander raced toward the coordinates the survivor had given them. The legend of the blast train had always felt like a myth a tale to frighten wanderers in the night. But now it was real, and it had become a terror on the rails. As the coordinates came into view, a faint plume of smoke cut through the desolate sky. The blast train rumbled in the distance, a monstrous figure emerging from the horizon, its iron wheels clattering against the old rusted tracks. Ava's heart pounded as the train drew closer, its massive fortified exterior gleaming in the sunlight. This was no ordinary train, its heavily armored cars looked more like bunkers than passenger compartments, each one covered in worn symbols of the old world. But there was something off. The train radiated an aura of menace, a sense that something unspeakable lay hidden within its steel walls. Ava and Blastlander managed to board the train through a cargo hatch, just as it slowed down near a supply checkpoint. The inside was worse than she had imagined. The stench of decay filled the air and the grimy, dimly lit corridors seemed more like the halls of a prison than a place of refuge. The survivor hadn't exaggerated the blast train wasn't just a mobile vault. It was a fortress of horrors, a nightmare on rails. We need to find the control room, Eva whispered, her determination stealing her nerves. The screech of the train's wheels grew louder as it sped up again, hurtling into the wasteland. The true heart of the blast train awaited ahead, and whatever grim fate lay within it, Ava and Blastlander were ready to face it. This podcast was made available by Echo Base Radio Blastland. Watch out for next podcasts at Good Pods. Follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. And stay safe.